I looked straight in front of me and injured a goalkeeper, put his hands in his head. And when he done that, I just said, not this game over. Obviously, the main thing they said to me, which stuck in my head, was rugby after it might not be as good football again. So it was a, a bit of a concern thinking, okay, the manager might not want to play me, I haven't played for nine months. You know, it doesn't matter what I've done in the past. It's been tough. Obviously, breaking your leg, double leg break, it's never easy. Any any injury of football is never easy, but being out for a full year, missing, missing nine months of football, and then missing the start of this year's pre-season, it was tough. It was very tough. But I always knew that if I keep my head, head right, head down, I could get back playing. And that's what I've done. I think it was the sixth game of the season. Sixth, sixth game of the season. So I was playing well. Everything was going well. I was doing well at the table. And then, yeah, just a bad tackle. A very bad tackle. We won it up. And then what happened? A ball's come over the top. I'm the last defender. The striker's running on goal. And I've just started across. Went in for the slide tackle. As I've gone in for the slide tackle, I've just felt. But at the start, I thought it was just a, I thought it was just a bad tackle. I won the ball, felt a bit of pain, and then I remember. This is the main thing I remember from the actual from that day is I didn't look down at my leg. I looked straight in front of me and injured a goalkeeper, put his hands in his head, and when he done that, I just said, "No, it's game over." It's like a blur. Still now, it's still like a blur. I only remember like little bits. The main thing I remember was. Them, the main, the miss, funniest thing, I remember them covering my leg, covering my leg with a blanket, because I remember I kept looking down, and it felt like every time I looked down at my leg, every time I looked down, the pain would get worse, because I could just see my leg was just not how it was meant to be. Obviously, the main thing they said to me, which stuck in my head was, rugby actually, it might not be as good football again. That was the hardest thing to hear, obviously. And, yeah, being in hospital for seven days, I was in hospital for a week. I had to learn how to walk again. I had to, uh, that was the hardest bit as well, learning how to walk again because starting from playing football every day, every day to not being able to walk, staying in bed, can't move, it was tough. Obviously, you want to see the team do well. And I, at, that, at that time, I couldn't do nothing. I could just sit and watch. And I just wanted to be out there playing, help the boys. But nine months out, I couldn't really do nothing. So it was a, a bit of a concern thinking, okay, the manager might not want to play me. I haven't played for nine months. You know, it doesn't matter what I've done in the past. I'm a basically start from scratch. So it was it was a bit of a concern, but in my head, I always thought I could come back and get back played. I remember <laughs> missing three season. The hospital telling me you should not be playing football yet. You shouldn't be playing football. Well, I haven't told no one this bit, to be honest with you. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be playing. And I should have, I think I should have rested for another two more months, the hospital said. But I was sitting down in my bed for nine months. I couldn't, I was just wasn't having it. So I said, yeah. I remember telling the manager, yeah, the hospital said it's all clear, I can play, which was a bit stupid when I think about it now. But I missed, I missed basically the whole of pre-season. I only think I'd done like the last couple of weeks and I was still limping. Because my leg was all fully, fully healed, fully recovered. Straight away, a year back from, a year, was it a year from that day? I think it was a year from that day where I broke my leg. I played against the same team and the same, same pitch. Everyone was, I remember everyone kept saying to me, the one and, and you get scared. Like, it's, it's exactly a year on, it's a bit of a coincidence. I just kept thinking, no, like, it's just another game. That's all I kept thinking, it's another game. Forget what's happened in the past. And then within 15 minutes, I go on a run and score. So it was, a, it was a good day. It was a very good day. But I remember thinking, everyone kept saying to me, after a long injury like this, the hardest bit about it is going into another tackle, going straight into another tackle. But that's all I kept thinking in my head is, once I get that first tackle out of the way, after being out for a whole season, not playing, kind of, kind of wary to go into a tackle, I'll be honest, I was a bit wary. 
But I remember the first tackle was coming and everyone just said to me, when you get a chance to go to a tackle, just go in with full full hearted. And I remember the winger coming down the line and I've just got in smash and everyone was just like, well, I'm back. Now I'm back, like now I, for the first, I would say month, two months, I was still a bit wary going into tackle. In my head, I was wary. I might have not looked it, but in my head, I was thinking, oh, should I really go into this? But after time, after you played so many games, you back and you back, you just forget about it. So now when I go into tackle, I don't even think about it, to be honest. So at, at this moment in time, I just, my main focus is on just getting the playoffs and getting promoted. That is my only focus right now. It's been a tough season, so for me to just come straight back in and be playing regularly, it's a it's a good thing. It's a very good thing, and I'm happy to, to, to just be part of the team and play it and be back there.